ready when you are, Jack. Down, 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 down. One, two, one, two. What's happened in the series so far? This is going to be the intro, though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we started. No, I, I, no, it's awkward. It's awkward already. Just say hi, I'm Jack. I'm managing director. No. Is that a new one? <laughs> not no. After that. last time, got stitched up last time. This is Jack. I don't like all this. It's all very awkward. He's the 19-year-old MD of West Ham United women's team. It's a shame last night. First time for me. He's built a team from scratch. Come on then! Come on then! Come on then! To compete against the giants of women's football. It'd be a great test for us to say this is where we're at. He's got a loving family around him. If he does manage to do it, it might be one of the most impressive things done in football. We won't go that far. But on the pitch, things haven't always gone to plan. We think, all oh, right, I can fucking turn my head and then bang, you're out the game. You come to this league and this team to play football, yeah? You have to bring the fight with it as well. As the season reaches its halfway point, Jack's now on a roll. His team have won four in a row. Yeah! Yeah! We that. We that. Have back to place in the cup quarter final. We don't look happy. He's gutted, he's gutted with the loss. And he's even thinking of signing some new players. I think we're all in agreement. I should score a few goals for us as well, hopefully. So they should have been watching from episode one, really, shouldn't they? There's still time, guys. Is going to get Jack to sit on the ball behind. And we've got to boot the ball, yeah? Come on, Jack. Jack, you got to stay on. Me and Rose are going to boot it, yeah. and you've got to try and stay on. Sit. West Ham's recent winning streak has brought the team to the attention of the national press. And for Jack, a golden opportunity for some free publicity. If you want to do it first, I'll take it to you. Sit on that. I think it's an important part of the role. The, the more you can be in national newspapers or, or television, the, the better. The team's recent wins have pulled them clear of the relegation zone to sixth place in the league. Are you feeling like this team has clicked into place here? So they were all winnable games and, and I'm, I'm pleased that, that we did win them all. People don't expect us, I don't think, to be where we are now. So we just got to keep pushing and taking it game by game. I feel like we're taken seriously for the first time. You're looking to sign two more potential signings. Pretty much there on everything, but just to, to finalise everything and get the players across. What would you want to come out of this season and feeling that you've achieved? I want us to finish uh, between mid-table and, and the top. Obviously, I'm a winner. The girls in there are winners. I think the more we can get behind it, the, the better, really. Thank you so much. No worries, thank you. But Jack's not just concerned about the performance on the pitch. He needs his team to perform online as well. Capitalising on the growing interest in the squad, Jack wants to turn every click, like and share into a fan base of loyal supporters. This is just to go through some numbers, have a look at what's doing well, better standard of football, higher profile players, more interest in the team, just means more views. But I think we've got a long way to go as well, you know. Mm. What's like the average article get? Best performing average is 2,700. 2,700 is good compared to where we were before. And do you, do you remember the first time we sat down, it was like just in the hundreds. Mm -hmm. But I think now, we, you know, we're, we're moving in the right direction. These are the best performing women's related articles on the website. Transfer articles always do the best. We know Alicia's got a following away from West Ham. So that was always going to do well for us. Is there any way that we can have some real easy wins, even if we maybe pump a bit of money into it and advertise or... or share across onto the men's. Definitely, I think we need to create more content like that. Everything we put out needs to kind of relate to, okay, how is this going to translate into more people coming to the game? Because that's how we grow it, right? Yeah, so, of course. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Lucky for Jack, he has buckets of talent to help him boost his online following. And experienced team members like Captain Jilly Flaherty are used to being in the limelight. This is a winner's medal when we won the Continental Cup with Arsenal. I did say the other day, could you pawn this? I don't know if it's real gold or not. 
She spent over a decade winning trophies with WSL giants Arsenal and Chelsea before signing with West Ham for their first ever season in the top flight of women's football. At Arsenal and at Chelsea, you'd, you'd go out and you'd, nine times out of ten, you'd win every week. I'm talking regularly, we'd win the double and we'd win the treble. Being on the end of it, the other scale is like, well, you have to just sort of accept that it's going to be a long journey. I remember the first few games when we lost, I remember just, just coming home and being like, this isn't what I'm used to it and it's not really what I wanted to sign up for. I remember losing games at Chelsea, you'd, you'd think that was it. They could replace me if they're not getting the results because they need to get the results because they've put X, Y, Z money into the club. You're a good loser. <laughs> I'm a, I'd say I'm a respectable loser in the sense of when I lose a game, I still will go and shake opponents' hands. I'll still credit them when credit's due. Um, but I'm not a good loser in the sense of when I come home, I'm, I am miserable. Um, yeah, I just sort of tend to just go into myself. Um, but then I'm fine after about 24 hours. I left school to do football and college, but uh, it was it was the right decision. But it, if now, if I was to do it again, I wouldn't do it because I think where well, I was just so focused on football, I didn't get anything from college. I could not say I could easily walk away from football now. And it is a worry, because obviously as you get older, as soon as you tell your, the mortgage people I've got a contract for two years, straight away they're like, well, what are you going to do after two years? At 27, Jilly is starting to think about life after football. This is for, obviously, when I do my locksmith job. Obviously, I've got my drill, a picker. So, like, this is when you can pick a lock, you put that in there, and then you go, like, up and down like that. It's a snapper, put it on and then you snap it and break it off. I'd say I'm a qualified burglar, but obviously I will not break into no one's ass. Someone messaged me on Instagram and said, Jill, are you still doing a locksmith? I've lost my car key or something. I said, no, I can't do cars. Like, I, I, I would like to do cars, but I can't do cars. So, yeah, I didn't get that one. To try and build on the club's recent success, Jack and his general manager, Russ, have a crucial call with head coach, Matt, to discuss two players he wants them to sign during the transfer window. Uh, Matt, you're on the field. Yeah, you're on, yeah, don't swear, you're on the telly. <laughs> with a big cup game against Man United coming up, the pressure's now on Jack to splash some cash and get the deals over the line. The two players that we're looking at, I spoke to um, Janet about the budget and she said she's going to get back to me on Wednesday with all my queries. Um, I think we are going to be over budget. We always said when we got our strongest 11, we could compete with, with most teams. I think the way we have to look at it is also that it's an investment for the future seasons rather than looking at it just as a, a, a amount of money for now. It's just uh, waiting for the sponsorship to get approved. Hopefully, once the paperwork's done, it's just a formality and it's done. But you, you need to open your checkbook. It, it's a results-based business, really, the business we're in. And success brings fans and sponsors. Obviously, the sooner they're here, the, the bigger impact they'll make. Every game now to the end of the season is, is you're either fighting for, for league positions or, or you're fighting in the, in the Cups. Week match to keep your eye on. Wednesday night we'll see the next quarter-final clash in the League Cup. As Ham will head north to take on Manchester United and expectations will be high for Matt Beard's WSL side. After their win over Charlton in December, West Ham have bagged themselves to place in the quarter-finals of the League Cup. And they'll be facing the only lower league opposition left in the draw. Paperwork still to finalise, they won't have a helping hand from their new signings, mounting pressure on the more senior members of the team. We need to win. That's all. I think it might get a bit heated, which we like. A win tonight would mean a double celebration for head coach Matt Beard. If we get through tonight, then it's a semi-final and anything can happen in that, you know, so it'd be a good birthday present if we win. When we win? When we win, yeah, sorry. On the road again. Have we been filmed now? Yeah. yeah. Oh, OK, cool. 
A big red light means we're moving. Jack, be quiet. As favourites to go through, Jack decides to bring his big brother Dave Jr. to his first ever women's football match. Should we now? Do you have your glasses on for it? No. Oh. Then no. There you go. How do you think he's doing, Dave? Early on, I'm not going to lie, I was a bit worried when you get hammered by Man City and stuff. But then you, you win four in a row, I mean, the results really speak for themselves. The biggest project if Jack does I, I said it's impressive. This is when the you, biggest when... project ever in women's football. <laughs> probably, probably yes, though. You... Probably not. What is it about the Cup, then? Why is the Cup different from the league games? Got one game to win, one game to lose. The magic of the Cup, And it's it? all over. The Cup is a, is a nice way of where, I suppose, you can win some silverware. How many games are you from the final? So the, this quarter-final. It's the what? The semi-final. Is it the FA Cup? No, this is the Continental Cup. In terms of the new signings, are they fit and available tonight? Or is it uh, so they were both waiting for their visas, which took longer than what we wanted. Yeah, I'd love to have seen them today, to be honest. <laughs> I think it would have helped us. Look at that. It's a decent stadium, to be fair. This gets settled tonight. So the mindset from us has to be aggression. Remember, they're a young team. They're a very young team. So you've got to take advantage of that, especially the senior ones in here today. So look at each other now. Look at each other. Cross the fucking room. Look at each other. In everything that you do, you do it together. And we encourage and we work hard and we be ruthless. Okay? All right, good luck. Let's go. Come on, girls. Come on. Tonight is about progression in the League Cup. United are the lowest ranked side left in the tournament but are out to show that they can be a match for anyone on their day. This is the quarter-finals and we must have a winner tonight. It's been quite interesting watching West Ham. We've been following the documentaries. Uh, Joe Jack Sullivan, sorry, is the youngest director. Of football. Managing, director, Managing director, yeah. Managing director of football, I think just age 19. Son of uh, Chairman David Sullivan, of course. Yeah, so a few quid to uh, throw around. It's Rafferty, just to angle it across. It could go anywhere, and it's kept out by Chamberlain. old battle for the ball and then she's brought tumbling down by Brooke Hendricks who may well get a card here. When it goes oh. towards Molly Green, she has a habit of finding the net. Well, Matt Beard will be tearing what is little of his hair is left out at this point. At the break, Manchester United 1, West Ham 0. First and foremost, just relax, all right? We are getting nothing off the officials. We're not getting the run and the play on the advantages. We're not getting the run and the play throw-ins, free kicks. So you have to fight for everything. So, I mean, we've had a great chance. I mean, it's a good save from the goalkeeper. There's been a couple of other opportunities that we've had. We've got to do what we need to do to get this game won, okay? You've got to score in this game without a shadow of a doubt. Off we go in the second half. Way out. Decent effort though. It batters against the post and the rebound is wasted. Oh, here's Sigsworth who's picked the pocket of West Ham and found the target for goal number two. And maybe the semi finals are on the horizon for Manchester United. What were West Ham doing at the back? That's it. Manchester United's women march on. They have a semi-final to look forward to, claiming a Super League scalp along the way. I mean, maybe it changes the whole game. It does. It I mean, game. we were shit. Yeah. But still. I think going one goal down, we we lost we lost our heads a little bit for for five or ten minutes. But we should have been better than that tonight, really. If I'm totally honest.
it was just it was just sloppiness a lot of it. And a lot of the goals were just silly mistakes. We hit the bar and the post. Right, what did it say? Sullivan wants to score. <laughs> so you were spotted in the stands? He was, yeah, not me, yeah. thank God. After being knocked out of the cup by the underdogs, Jack is catching up with the boss. I'm going to speak rather posh today because I've heard my previous episodes of this and I'm going to hardly understand myself. And I hope Jack improves his accent for the rest of the series <laughs> because he doing? speaks in a rather deep voice. <laughs> I rather like being know, this sort of upmarket person. Just... Stop, 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 stop. stop. <laughs> just go normal, just go normal. I, I think in a way I'm quite lucky. Dad knows the best way to learn is in a way through my own mistakes and you don't make as much money as him if, if you don't know what you're talking about business-wise. So it's always a, a good thing to, uh, to listen to him. The disappointment was you lost to Man United and they've gone up there too confident and we let too many in as well. You've got to put it behind you, move on. The two players we've acquired since then, you've got to really help them settle down. It's very hard, they come from another country, and they'll be very determined young women who really want to succeed, and we've got to help them succeed because it'll help us. And the more successful the team, the more support you get. How do you think Jack's doing halfway through the season? Pretty good. I think it's an incredible learning process. There's all the problems you get at a major football club, but on a smaller scale. The hardest thing is, because he's 18, is to get respect to people. I'm 19. Sorry, 19 now, yes, 18 when you started. Yeah, 19, yeah. <laughs> it's like if I talk to the manager, I've never talked to him, I'd frighten him to death. But Jack, he won't have the same fear factor that I've got. But. That said and done, their future is in his hands. And if he's unhappy with them, he wants to make a change, he will make that change the same as I would make that change. But a tough job, and I think if I was doing it myself, I'm not sure I could do a lot better. Um, let's do the changing room first. Your name's already up. I love the fact this is in Korea. <laughs> Literally, it's when you enter the arena, you are the best player. Yeah. Which I think is great. West Ham's two new signings have finally arrived. South Korean captain Cho So Yun and Canadian goalscorer Adriana Leon. With these two girls coming in, they're both international players. They're very, very good players. Cho, our other new signing is here today. Oh, OK. So uh, you'll meet her. Adriana I worked with before. She's a great talent. She scores goals and she, she creates goals. Cho. Technically, is a very, very gifted player. You know, she's a captain of her country, so she's a leader. You know, it brings me a little bit more experience. Having convinced Jack to go over budget to sign new players, Matt's quick to sit them down and bring them up to speed. So for me, this is this is what we've been missing a lot of your movements, correct? Yeah. The goal, the goal scoring opportunity. Yeah. You're always watching, scanning. Do you understand? Like yeah. always assessing what's happening. Can I just get my phone? Sorry, I can translate. If you any. With you coming in now, it's going to cause defenders more problems because you're so direct. Are you like, are you aware of that? How, how good you are at that? Yeah. Well, it's something I've been trying to work on. So, that, you read that? Make sense? Today, tomorrow's going to be about you just getting comfortable with what we're asking you to do, building a relationship with the girls on the pitch. So don't worry about anything, because I know you're going to bring a lot to the table. So just relax and just go about doing what you normally do. OK, any questions? No? I'll translate that so you understand 100% what we spoke about. OK, thank you. All right, cool. Brilliant. Well done. Thank you. Are you happy to be here? Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy to play in this team. <laughs> Sorry. You've been to London before? Just once before, yeah. Everything is like 
news. I was only here for a weekend, so. It's locked in it. Someone let me in. It's locked, mate. It's locked. It's locked. Oh, hello. Hi. Nice Hi. to meet you. Dree, nice to meet you. Nice to officially meet you. Nice to officially meet you. Yeah. <laughs> so welcome. Thank um, you. Yeah. If you ever need anything, I'm here. I'm okay. Here. Good to know. And anything as well. I heard you're you're the man around here. You're the go-to. Oh, really? Like the suit. Looks Thank good. you. I wore it because we're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'm in a tracksuit. Yeah. Nice to officially meet you. That's class. Man. That's overhead? Yeah, what do you think? Over the head or? Yeah. <laughs> They're two top players. We brought them in to make a difference and we look forward to seeing them play. Are you mates? <laughs> <laughs> they will be. She's an iron now. Yeah, she's a new no. hammer. <laughs> yeah, you're a hammer. You know yeah, this one? Yes. It's bigger than I thought though. Yeah. I thought it was a bit smaller. I don't know how they got in. <laughs> Unless they bought it in sideways. Kiss at the delivery. Swimming pack. Oh, so. I don't give two flying fucks. We should not be losing to teams like this. No fucking way. Look at that fucking reaction. Look at them. We never won the fucking lottery. So speak to Matt tomorrow. But it's not good enough.